Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me vlog. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. I just got to the barn and it is a gloomy day. It is rainy. It is a little bit chilly. I am absolutely praying that whoever I'm riding is already in the barn because I really don't feel like going into the wet muddy field today. But if I have to, so be it. Today I am hoping for either Daisy or Philo, but... I also wouldn't mind writing confetti. It's been a really long time since I've written confetti. Um, so I guess hoping for one of those three, but let's go in and let's find out. So this is what I'm dealing with today. Taking on the true gray, the true meaning of what it means to be a gray. Um, yeah, I don't think I have enough time for this. Too. At least she's got her blanket on, so the saddle area is going to be clean. Um, definitely not the girth area, but this is what happens when you ride horses. Hey, breezy girl. Woo! Hey, you wet girlfriend. Here. All right. How long do you think it's going to take for me to deal with all that? All right, guys, so of course, Breezy is absolutely covered in mud from head to toe, and I apologize. For some reason, the whole grooming process was filmed in time lapse, so it is sped up and a little bit choppy. I apologize for that. But starting off, I'm just taking a towel and I'm doing my very best to try and dry up some of that mud. Luckily, Breezy had her blanket on, so at least. Part of her body is gonna be somewhat clean. There's only so much that I can do. It is really too cold to bathe her right now. Um, so the best that I can do is use a towel to dry up some of the mud and then use a hard brush and curry comb to get rid of as much mud as possible. Um, but yeah, she's absolutely filthy, absolutely disgusting. Her tail is literally black. <laughs> if you have a gray horse or pony, I'm sure you know the struggle. I personally would never own a gray solely for this reason I just would not be able to deal with it and of course I am also getting covered in mud trying to clean breezy and it's shedding season so her hair is everywhere as well so it's just a mess And of course, Breezy tried to kick me when I was picking out her feet. That's why Breezy is in the cross ties, because she can be a little bit nasty sometimes. She definitely has that pony sass and attitude. Um, but that's about the best that I can do with grooming. So it's time to get her saddle on and get a cooler on her and then get her bridled and into our lesson. My calves are already going numb. I did not understood and registered what you said after you said it. Yeah. But when you said it, I heard my cows. My cows. My cows. My cows. They're going numb. Okay. And then she goes fine. Oh, right. You guys are going to get in there ASAP. My excuse for being late today is Breezy was filthy. However, she's still filthy, so. <laughs> I did my best, okay. <laughs> Oh. All right, Ev. Come on, my little unicorn. Okay, so before I get on, I'm just going to do my prep steps, check Breezy's bridle, and check her girth. Okay, so Breezy was puffing out her belly so, so, so much. She was being such a chunky monkey, and I was like, this girth cannot go any tighter, so I didn't tighten it, but the second I got on, the saddle was sliding, so I ended up having to tighten it again. So always tighten your girth. Breezy was just faking it. She's not as fat as she claims to be. So yeah, I gotta fix that. Okay. Uh. I gotta tighten your girth. I know. 
definitely help though, because they don't feel... And then she's like, got on my GoPro, yeah. What is with you and that corner? He's full. I know. Like I was just, okay, I'm going down. <laughs> Last time, and she was spooking in that exact corner but it was because of the light. So now I don't know what the heck she's spooking at. Honestly, I think the only reason it didn't hurt is because she's so close to the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. So that is the most silly and random fall ever. Like literally just got on, just walking, breezy spooks. I was not expecting it at all. And I just went down. I'm actually so sad because I broke my fall streak. It was literally, I was approaching one year having not fallen off and then breezy pulls that and I fall, but <laughs> it didn't hurt at all. I was just surprised. <laughs> but moving yeah. on, starting our first exercise, we're just going over these trot pulls, holding two point. Guys, do we have to count that fall? Cause it was at a walk. I'm literally almost at one year without falling off. <laughs> yeah, I think next month it'll be a year. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so like, let's like pretend that didn't happen. Didn't see it, so it, didn't happen. it didn't happen, you're right. I saved it actually. Just changing the diagonal now, switching crop to the inside hand and sitting for two bumps in the middle to switch my diagonal. I know. She's like, whatever. Let's go over a rainbow and red pole, counting your steps in between. Okay, next exercise, counting trot steps. And before, I used to think I was pretty bad at them, but I think I'm getting a little bit better. <laughs> Not 12? Oh, you got 12, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, 11 maybe? Okay. so fast uh, 11 again oh yes ten I did not count <laughs> So if you saw my other video with Breezy, you know girl does not like to pick up the canter. It does take a little while to get her to pick up the canter. So after a full lap of trot, we finally got the canter. Hey, 
So that was a lot of fun. Asking them to canter and then coming back to trot kept that in that super fast extended trot. So it made a really big difference and we were able to shorten our steps. So this exercise was challenging and fun too. Challenging, bringing them to a slow enough trot where you could sit and do a circle without them breaking to a wall. Yeah. Just taking a really quick walk break now, letting Breezy catch her breath and myself, of course, um, before we go and canter. Obviously going to check my girth and yes, I need to tighten it again because Breezy was still puffing out her belly before and Breezy's saddle slips a little bit sometimes. But now we're going to go and do our left lead canter. Not only is it challenging to get Breezy to pick up the canter, but also to keep the canter. Okay. Yeah, girlfriend, you can't get rid of me.
Oh my goodness, guys. So that was fun. That was the first buck that I've ever had, and I saw it. Oh. Was it a big buck? Yes, yeah, it was like a twist. Breezy can be quite sassy sometimes, and I've only ever ridden her a couple times before, and I've never had her buck, so that was interesting. Green pole after every pole, especially the diagonal. Then outside line in three for most of them, and then back to your green pole. Um, let me back up out of here. Back. Good girl. Okay, that was messy. Will we get a second turn at that? Okay, okay. that was. Yeah, you have, to, you have to use this circle to like make her go, flat. Go, like, yeah. Let her know it's time to go and really get her galloping. So the rest of the course she yeah. carries you instead of you having to push it. Yeah, my reins were weird and my stirrups were yeah. weird. I and I was just trying to fix it the whole time. Um, okay, I'll move. Good girl though. See how you're sitting now though? When you're cantering, there's like no satellite going. Your all really? Over. Okay. So honestly, that was quite messy. The theme of today is that I'm just sitting a little too far back when I'm cantering and I'm not having my leg far enough underneath me and therefore I'm not able to squeeze her properly in the right place to keep her going. So that is why we had a lot of trouble breaking to canter and not to mention that that's already an issue with Breezy to begin with. Okay. Still, okay. Find your belly. Oh, out to the side. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Nice yeah, okay, okay. That makes sense. Good girl. Feel better? Yeah, that felt better. Still not satisfied, but improvement. Improvement. Hey, crumpy pony. So, yeah, whatever. Look at you. 
Okay, so it was better than the first round. Still not a totally clean course and still not super satisfied with that. But we did do better than the first one and that's what matters is that we had an improvement. Um, so yeah, I just need to focus on that for next time. When I'm cantering, I need to make sure I have my leg a little bit more back. I do tend to kind of shift to a chair seat when I'm cantering. When I'm trotting, it's fine. But for some reason when I canter, I kind of like really push my legs forward. Um, so I gotta stop doing that, break that habit. But that was our lesson today. What a crazy lesson. Honestly, it was quite eventful. It's always a fun time with Breezy. Um, but after cooling down for a little bit, it's time to head back in the barn and untack and groom. Hi guys, so that was a really eventful lesson. I can't believe I fell off, literally at the walk. I was not expecting it at all. I had just got on, I was messing with my stirrup, breezy spooked, and then I just fell off. And honestly, like she's so close to the ground, I was like, eh, whatever, ground is right there, here I go. It didn't hurt at all. It was just really unexpected. Um, and then I sat my very first buck, so that's not uncommon. Breezy does buck quite a bit sometimes when asking her for a canter, but I've only ever ridden her a couple of times, so I've never had that experience, and I've never had a horse buck on me before. Um, so that was my first time, and I sat it. I didn't fall off at the buck, so, that is totally fine i'm okay with that it was a really eventful lesson i think we did really well despite breezy's sassiness but i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video bye